it's Monday uh, for those of you going to work condolence <laughs> yeah I used to go to work uh, the Monday blues for like 30 years but now I have time to do some RC stuff so yesterday uh, we tested the third prototype front end and it was very nice my driver had no complaints it's more precise and it gave more corner speed without the without the car stopping in the middle it just went through the corners flowed through the corners very well and it was durable it held up nothing broke alright so for those who are asking uh, what parts I used and so on and basically I found these arms on online these are marketed as China made uh, I think arms for the clone of the Tamiya 416 so this one you can see I used it for the upper and also the lower but the lower I had to modify to put the shock mount so I took a, a servo holder cut it and it goes here now this way yeah. and then this goes this way and you can get that and I can adjust the roll center with shims so my driver we started with a high roll center we took off 0.5 mm and she noticed a big difference she said it was very good so minute changes here make a big difference how did I do the shock towers so I took an arm so there's an the lower arm for the TRF 416 clone cut and then these go into the bulkhead then I have some extension from Tamiya goes here and all with 3mm set screws now it looks like a drifting design but uh, it's very durable nothing broke we hit the curbs a few times and yeah, it's very nice you, uh, I know it's aluminum we rarely use aluminum arms on racing cars but these are very light and yeah I like it it, it performed very well better than the plastic or carbon reinforced arms all right uh, low CG uh, not the front end now feels very light and responsive very noticeable so I'm happy with this design and I'm now going to port it to the back as well so each side is identical front left right front rear the same all right that's it.